Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula experienced another volcanic eruption in late November 2024, affecting major transportation routes and approaching the popular Blue Lagoon Spa. Evacuations were called for as lava flows were captured in stunning satellite imagery. After more than two months of inactivity, a volcanic fissure erupted again on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula. Lava from the eruption spread across major roads and advanced toward the Blue Lagoon, one of Iceland's most popular tourist attractions. The Icelandic Meteorological Office reported that a series of earthquakes signaled a new eruption during the night. About five hours later, the visible infrared imaging radiometer suite aboard a satellite captured this nighttime image of the event below. The light from the eruption appeared to outshine the lights of Reykjavik, Iceland's capital. The image at the top of the page shows lava pouring out of an eruption fissure near the summit of Stora Skogfell along the Sundnuku crater line. The lava is flowing east and west from the fissure, not toward the town of Grindavik. The Icelandic National Broadcasting Service reports that the latest incident forced the evacuation of some residents of the town and the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa Resort. A tongue of lava is flowing over the spa's car park, enveloping a small service building located there, and plume of gas, mostly sulfur dioxide, is pouring out of the lava, although the eruption has not affected flights to and from Iceland. A series of dramatic eruptions saw volcanic lava cover the area around the Blue Lagoon in Iceland after the Sundnuka crater erupted. The eruptions all happened in about 30 minutes so it's usually very quick for police to issue a warning that the volcano is about to erupt. The area was closed to the public, but the press were allowed to get close if they had a gas mask, gas meter, helmet and tetra radio, plus a special press pass. A defensive wall has been built around the Blue Lagoon with two gaps left open. The eruption has further tested mitigation measures, such as the cooling of the lava used to protect the Svartsengi power facility. Large machines were seen desperately sealing the gaps in a bid to save the Blue Lagoon from reopening. The eruption, which began last Wednesday night, began with the opening of a three-kilometer-long gap. The Sundnuka crater is close to Iceland's world-famous tourist attraction, the Blue Lagoon, a geothermal spa. The Blue Lagoon was forced to close after the resort's parking lot was engulfed by lava last week. 50 homes in Grindavík, which is at the epicenter of the seismic activity, were evacuated. Previous lava has destroyed roads, houses, power lines and water pipes, Gunnarsson said. Gunnarsson added that residents and authorities have become experts in dealing with eruptions, quickly organizing evacuations and implementing measures such as rerouting communications when fiber cables are damaged. The eruption near Sundnuksgiga has generally been shorter. 
it can be assumed that most of the lava is now flowing east, although it is possible that some lava may be flowing beneath the hardened surface to the west, although no movement was seen last night at the base of the lava.